Hello everyone. We have all loved to hear the stories that our grandmothers have narrated to us. The mysterious ones from the folklore which drew all our attention. Today we are going to read one such mysterious story from the chapter Two Stories About Flying. The name of the story is The Black Aeroplane written by Frederick Fawcett who was born in England who was a jet fighter pilot a journalist and also a diplomat i'm kapila who is going to read this story to you let's begin the moon was coming up in the east behind me and the stars were shining in the clear sky above me there wasn't a cloud in the sky I was happy to be alone high up above the sleeping countryside so because it was night the whole countryside it was sleeping I was flying my old Dakota aeroplane over France back to England so that's the name of the aeroplane and he was going back to England and he was over France I was dreaming of my holiday and looking forward to being with my family I looked at my watch 1:30 in the morning so that's intense night 1:30 it is and he was really happy that he would be going to his home and he would be with his family i should call paris control soon i thought as i looked down past the nose of the aeroplane i saw the lights of a big city in front of me i switched on the radio and said paris control dakota ds088 here can you hear me I'm on my way to England. Over. The voice from the radio answered me immediately. DS zero eight eight. I can hear you. You ought to turn twelve degrees west now. DS zero eight eight. Over. I checked the map and the compass, switched over to my second and last fuel tank, and turned the Dakota twelve degrees west towards England. So these were the instructions and the conversation that was held between the pilot. and the one who was sitting there in the control room he followed the instructions and he moved towards england i'll be in time for breakfast i thought a good big english breakfast everything was going well it was an easy flight so he was dreaming of the english breakfast he would have the breakfast at his home and he would enjoy it paris was about 150 kilometers behind me when i saw the clouds storm clouds they were huge they looked like black mountains standing in front of me across the sky i knew i could not fly up and over them and i did not have enough fuel to fly around them to the north or south so because see it was told earlier only he had switched over his last uh, fuel tank also so he knew that he would not be able to go through those black storm clouds i ought to go back to paris i thought but i wanted to get home i wanted that breakfast i'll take the risk i thought and flew that old dakota straight into the storm so the yearning of going to his home and having that breakfast of home and meeting the family members that was so intense that he took the risk and he wanted to fly through the storm inside the clouds everything was suddenly black it was impossible to see anything outside the aeroplane the old aeroplane jumped and twisted in the air i looked at the compass i couldn't believe my eyes the compass was turning round and round and round it was dead it would not work the other instruments were suddenly dead too i tried the radio so all the instruments there they were dead the compass and the other ones the radio also and it was a complete blackout he could not see anything outside there of the aeroplane paris control paris control can you hear me there was no answer the radio was dead too i had no radio no compass and i could not see where i was i was lost in the storm then in the black clouds quite near me i saw another aeroplane it had no lights on its wings but i could see it flying next to me through the storm i could see the pilot's face turned towards me 
I was very glad to see another person. He lifted one hand and waved. So, from nowhere, he just saw that there was an aeroplane and a pilot also. He could see very near to him he was, but there was no light there on the wings and the pilot waved at him. Follow me, he was saying, follow me. He knows that I am lost, I thought. He is trying to help me. He turned his aeroplane slowly to the north in front of my Dakota so that it would be easier for me to follow him. I was very happy to go behind the strange aeroplane like an obedient child. Obviously, because he was stuck there in the storm, he knew he would, uh, it would be of no use trying here and there because all the instruments had also gone. So that is why obediently he followed that pilot who had uh, come there for help. After half an hour, the strange black aeroplane was still there in front of me in the clouds. Now, there was only enough fuel in the old Dakota's last tank to fly for 5 or 10 minutes more. So he knew the reality because the last engine, the last tank also he had put on. So he knew now after half an hour, only 5-10 minutes more, his Dakota could fly. I was starting to feel frightened again. But then he started to go down and I followed through the storm. So when he was thinking, he was getting afraid what would happen to him because the fuel was only there for 5-10 minutes. That was the time when he saw the black aeroplane that had come there that was moving downwards. It was going down. Suddenly I came out of the clouds and saw two long straight lines of lights in front of me. It was a runway, an airport. I was safe. I turned to look for my friend in the black aeroplane, but the sky was empty. There was nothing there. The black aeroplane was gone. I could not see it anywhere. So the aeroplane, when he thought of thanking the pilot and he turned back to see the aeroplane, it was not there. Nobody, no sign of the aeroplane, no sign of the pilot and nothing. Everything was very empty, the whole sky there. I landed and was not sorry to walk away from the old Dakota near the control tower. Obviously, he would not be sorry. He would be happy to move away from the Dakota. I went and asked a woman in the control center where I was and who the other pilot was. I wanted to say thank you. Obviously, he would go and inquire that who the pilot was, who came to the help and which place he was, all that because he wanted to say thank you to that pilot. She looked at me very strangely and then laughed. Another aeroplane? Up there in the storm? No other aeroplanes were flying tonight. Yours was the only one I could see on the radar. So this was the answer that surprised him more. So who helped me to arrive there safely without a compass or a radio and without any more fuel in my tanks? Who was the pilot on the strange black aeroplane flying in the storm without lights? It was a mystery that was left unsolved for him. Now, let's do the exercise. Question 1. I'll take the risk. What is the risk? Why does the narrator take it? The narrator saw that there was a huge storm in front of him. But still, he thought of flying the aeroplane or his old Dakota there and going to England through that storm. He took that risk. And he took that risk because he was very eager to go to England for the homely English breakfast and to be with his family. Question 2. Describe the narrator's experience as he flew the aeroplane into the storm. As the narrator flew the aeroplane into the storm, everything became black. He could not see anything outside. His aeroplane was jumping and twisting and all the instruments, they became dead. The radio was not working. The compass was not working and he became afraid and he, he was confused. He did not know what he should do because uh, he was not getting any sort of aid from anywhere. Question 3. Why does the narrator say, I landed and was not sorry to walk away from the old Dakota? The narrator said this because he was really happy to be saved from that uh, uh, storm and he wanted to go 
to the tower so he wasn't sorry that even after that exhaustion he was walking there he really wanted to thank the pilot who had saved his life so he went walked till the control room because he was not sorry because of two reasons one his life had been saved and second he really wanted to thank the pilot who had saved his life from the bottom of the heart so he did not mind walking question 4 What made the woman in the control center look at the narrator strangely? The woman in the control center looked at the narrator strangely because the narrator inquired about a black aeroplane and the pilot who was flying that aeroplane as they had as that aeroplane ha- the pilot of that aeroplane had helped him. So the women saw only one aeroplane that was on the radar that was of the narrator and that is the reason why she had that strange look on her face question 5 who do you think helped the narrator to reach safely now see uh, i think personally this is my thinking i think that there was a supernatural power uh, that helped the narrator come out of the storm because there was no fuel and you know the condition that was there i think it was that only but maybe uh, some might think that it was a delusion of his mind he had that uh, will power in him so because of that uh, he just imagined and then he came out on his own so there there can be many answers to it uh, your belief is really important for this answer whatever you believe in you should be right thing that here the, the answer that i have given that's my personal belief here now uh, there's an exercise given over here where uh, the some such sentences are given over here and there's a word black but it has got different meanings let us read it they looked like black mountains inside the clouds everything was suddenly black In the black clouds near me I saw another aeroplane the strange black aeroplane was there now see the word black in the sentences a and c refers to the very darkest color but in b and d here it means without light or with no light see there were no lights on the aeroplane that is why black aeroplane and everything was uh, black outside that means nothing was visible so it was lights out so the meaning of the word black is different in the uh, two sentences here that is uh, b and d and in the a and c sentences also the meaning is very different now they have given uh, us an exercise over here but before that they have given us more examples here black has a variety of meanings like i've explained it to you just now uh, similarly they have given more examples of it i prefer black tea means i prefer tea without milk so here it's not about the color it's about without milk here black means without milk with increasing pollution in the future of the world is black means with increasing pollution the future of the world is very depressing or without any hope so here black means without any hope so there are various meanings of the word black this is what they are wanting to uh, explain over here now the exercise uh, tells us that we have to guess the meanings of the word black in the sentence given below go and have a bath your hands and face are absolutely black so here it is the color of it The taxi driver gave Ratan a black look as he crossed the road when the traffic light was green. So here the black look is an angry look because the traffic light was green. So the traffic had to go and there the man was crossing the road. So it, it is anger over here. Here black means anger. The bombardment of Hiroshima is one of the blackest crimes against humanity. Blackest is one of the most brutal over here. Right? That. one which is not a very uh, famous infamous that it is here the meaning of black is that uh, sentence 4 very few people enjoy herald pinter's black comedy so here it is a comedy which is in a weird manner which is making fun uh, in a different manner that kind of comedy it is and very few people they enjoy that so the meaning of black is that Sometimes shopkeepers store essential goods to create false scarcity and then sell these in black. Now here black means more money, right? They sell in black, they sell it at a greater or a higher price. 
villagers had beaten the criminal black and blue so here black and blue means that he was beaten harshly very harshly and very brutally that he had blue marks of the blood that had taken clots there on the body now let us do the next exercise the next exercise we have to match the columns match column a with column b okay fly a flag the answer is display a flag on a long pole fly into rage the answer is become suddenly very angry fly along fly along is move quickly fly high be successful fly the coop escape from a place now the next question you have a set of words that have been given over here and you have just to identify the words that are related to the word fly like we had the word there swoop so that's again a way of flying only similarly you also need to find the other words you can take the help of a dictionary over here and the next question here that's your homework have you ever been alone or away from home during a thunderstorm narrate your experience in a paragraph so you have to write a short paragraph where you have to write down your experience pen down your experience on a thunderstorm that you have seen or faced or experienced if not then you must have heard of it you must have read of it so you have to write that paragraph this was a mysterious story where a black aeroplane came and helped the pilot of our story we may be meeting with another such mysterious story in some other video till then take care